Hey guys, um, thanks very much for joining us again on our Good People Chats. Um, today we're having, sitting down to have a conversation with Jason Maloney. He's a um, world title contender fighter and um, just an all-round good dude. So um, we thought that we would um, catch up with you, mate, and uh, get under the hood of who you really are outside the ring and, and in the training and stuff and, um, yeah, just share your story with people. So um, what we've been... Uh, lucky enough to to do is um, have chats with some really interesting people so far with a few few of these episodes and um, and one of the questions that we're asking them to start off with is um, how they how coffee fits into their day so um, you know and and obviously it's different for everyone so like you know um, obviously there's a lot of coffee drinkers out there but um, uh, you and your day and your schedule obviously it's pretty tight and it's very regimented, so I thought, you know, yours yours would be a lot different as other people. So yeah, mate, coffee plays a, a major role in my day yeah. and schedule. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, firstly, thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure, and um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a bit of a coffee fan. I've yeah. always loved coffee, and yeah. I guess being someone who's so active and trains so much and such a you know, you know mm. busy guy, yeah, I just it's the first thing I do when I wake up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Have a coffee. It starts the day. Um, yeah. And then if I'm, you know, after I have my first training session, because I generally train twice a day, I'll have a bit of a break, a bit of a rest. And then the way that I sort of tell my body that it's time to go again for the second training session is basically have another coffee. Yeah, that's cool, hey. It's like a bit of a ritual like, to yeah, like kickstart yeah. again into that. Coffee, know, coffee step. means it's time to time. switch from family man to businessman and, yeah. and boxing and yeah yeah it's sort of uh it's what starts it all yeah it's cool what starts the engine cool on on that note talking about you know james baloney as a family man sorry um uh could you give us a little bit of a background um as to like you know where you're from you know Jason is a young star. Yeah. Like, how did you start in boxing? And, um, you know, where did you grow up? Um, all right. So, long journey. I am originally from Melbourne. Yeah. Um, lived my whole life there. Yeah. All my family and mates and, and everything are there. Yeah. Um, uh, I started boxing when I was 12 years old. Mm. Uh, basically, I'm a twin, for those that don't yeah. know. Yeah. And, <laughs> I'm a, I've also got an older brother, so yeah. three boys to start our original family. Mm. My uh, my family, my parents divorced, remarried, and I've yeah. got siblings on either side there. But growing up was basically three boys, and we'll ride into our sports. Yeah. Loved our footy, a bit of basketball, motorbike riding, just basically doubled in yeah. a, a bunch of different sports. Um, but being so competitive and boys, we used yeah. to fight a lot too. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. um, there's a few bedroom, uh, a few lounge room blues. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, somebody bought me and my brother a pair of boxing gloves. I don't know who it was. We're probably only <laughs> 11 years old, and they thought that would be a good someone idea. with foresight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and me and my brother would just put the gloves on in the lounge room and just have a fight. We yeah, didn't know well. what we were doing, but we loved it. And um, yeah, it was just something that we had a bit of a passion for. Yeah. Um, and then we were playing AFL and we really wanted to be AFL players. We were probably 12 or 13 at that stage. Um, and in the pre-season we weren't doing anything, so like, oh, let's go down to the local boxing gym and we'll yeah. start doing that in the pre-season and that will give us a bit of fitness and we'll yeah. go and you know yeah. smash the next season of footy. But yeah. Um, yeah, we went down to the local gym and just loved boxing and then we juggled both for a little bit, yeah. boxing and footy, boxing and footy, and it wasn't working. I, yeah. lo- I lost my first three fights, and my brother lost his first seven fights, yeah. and we quickly found out it's like boxing's like, you're all in, yeah, yeah. or yeah. don't bother. Yeah, okay. So we had to make the choice, so yeah. I think most people are like, oh, he's got the footy, he's, yeah. he's yeah. having one of five. Together, Especially together, in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together, yeah. Together, together use an 0-10. Yeah. Um, but me and my brother were like, nah, stuff this let's um give footy the flick yeah. and give box and everything we got yeah so did that quickly started um you know getting some success we both 
started a um, getting on a big winning streak and represented Australia at the Commonwealth Games in awesome. 2010. Um, tried out for the Olympics and unfortunately missed out. Yeah. Then um, my brother won gold at the Commonwealth Games in 2014, and I decided I'm going to go professional. And yeah. Started my professional journey. So, so, so obviously, like for the people watching, they might not know the difference between yeah. you know a professional boxer yeah. or like you, you, you know you, I would see a Commonwealth boxer yeah. or an Olympic boxer as professional. But mm. what's the difference there? Um, unfortunately, boxing it's basically two different sports. Yeah, amateur boxing, professional boxing, right. and other sports. Um, Basketball, yeah. tennis, you know, these guys are going to the Olympics and they're professional earning good money. Well, yeah. it's like amateur boxing is completely different. There's no money involved, you don't get paid or anything. Um, but your, I guess, goal and your, you know, the incentive to stay amateur is you yeah. can go and represent your country at the mm. Olympics or come off. Yeah, there. okay. Um, but as soon as you turn professional, there's no going back. You can't do You've that. You've had professional yeah. fights, you can't go to the Olympics and the come off game. So you sort of try and achieve everything you can, go to the Olympics, go to the Commonwealth Games, but there's a stage in most people's career where they yeah. decide they want to take it more seriously yeah. and go professional. Is that similar to like, you know, with the basketballers or something like that? Because uh, there's there's like professional basketball players, like NBA basketball mm. players playing. Go to the Olympics. Playing, yeah, I don't know, okay. so it's, so it's not really fair. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, that's just the way it is for boxing. Mm. Um, which is what makes it hard because other countries you know, have a lot more success yeah. uh, and yeah, you know, the Olympics, but they get funded, all these amateur yeah. boxers are getting funded, stay amateur, you know, win us, win us medals and they look after them, but here it's, you're on your own. Yeah. So uh, if you want to do the sport and, and financially get some reward for it, you basically have to be a professional. So that's why Australia struggles at mm. boxing in the Olympics. Yeah, which is tough because it's like, it would be childhood dreams to like be Absolutely. an Olympian or yeah. like represent your country and then yeah. you've got to choose between something that's like I mean obviously boxing is an individual sport yeah. but it's it's like then you've got to choose it almost would feel like it's a selfish option to go to like a professional boxer mm. rather than like you know fulfill your dream but yeah it's a tough it's very tough, tough. and yeah. we, we gave it all we were full time amateur boxers which is bloody hard to do because yeah. there's no money so yeah. me and my brother were 21 and still full time amateur boxers and earning nothing just scraping by with this dream of going to the Olympics and all our other mates were doing apprenticeships yeah. or running their own companies yeah, yeah. tradies and buying their first homes and getting a real head start in yeah, life yeah. and we were like nah we want to go to the Olympics yeah. so we gave it everything we had and it's a a bit of a long Sacrifice, story, but isn't it? Yeah, we yeah. both just didn't work out. My brother got robbed, and I yeah. learned a big lesson and yeah, right. trained too hard for it. A bit of politics involved myself. in there, right? with my brother's fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, I just learned a big lesson. I wanted it that bad. Mm. Um, wanted to be an Olympian that bad that I just trained like a demon and just burnt myself yeah. into the ground. And yeah. Got to the trials, and I was just exhausted. Yeah, just yeah. Couldn't perform. Isn't that crazy, hey? Like, um, yeah. it, I feel like uh, um, there's a lot of sports out there where, you know, the actual event isn't really the journey. Yeah. It's like the, the training that you do and that's go exactly through, that's right. like where the passion and the love needs to be. It's yeah. not like the limelight. That's just like the, the, the yeah. cherry on top, isn't it? 100%. You know? And that's, like, that was a massive lesson for me. So I, I just think everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I missed out on the Olympics and I will never be able to say I'm an Olympian mm -hmm. or anything, but learn a big lesson that it's um you know sometimes wanting something so bad yeah. and giving it everything and mm. you know you have to sit back and use your brains a little bit like i was just like i want to be like you know yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna work 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 but yeah. i just push yeah. it too hard and yeah. when you're over overdone probably not recovering there's well no coming back yeah right you're going to something a little bit of like boxing a little bit underdone yeah you can just lift yeah. but when you're overcooked yeah. Wow. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the the grind of like just getting by. Like, what were you doing on the side to fund your journey to be an Olympian? Well, like, we we're very very fortunate um, where we had a sponsor oh, that yeah. came on board, and we met just a, an unbelievable man who 
sponsored me and my brother. Yeah. Uh, his name was Brian Hector Lezers. Um, and when we were amateurs, I mean, he wasn't really getting anything yeah. from sponsoring yeah. us. Um, yeah, that's cool. But he just said, I love you boys and I want to see you achieve your dream and he yeah. backed us. And that's why I have BFH on this yeah, league. Yeah, okay. Because uh, he's passed away now, but right. we um, just like show our appreciation for him for backing us from his very start. Like so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he backed us and I think the government was paying $280 a month or something <laughs> like so you pay your pay your phone bill or something wow. but yeah. but yeah you're scraping by yeah, scraping yeah. by yeah. um we're living in Canberra at the AIS for a fair while before those trials and yeah just sort of missed out of the Olympic Games came home and yeah had nothing the Olympic yeah, dream was well. gone didn't have a job didn't have a car I was just living at home with me with my parents and yeah. was like oh well what's next there we yeah. go yeah, yeah so so Stop for a bit and then it's reset the goal yeah. and move on. What reignited you to like, did you always have that momentum of going into, all right, that didn't happen or work, so I'm going to go into a professional boxer or did it, like, did no. you come home a bit down in the dumps? And then, yeah, yeah okay. big time, big time. So I was, at that stage, Olympics was everything. Yeah. I didn't even want to turn, didn't have any really aspirations to be a professional. I yeah. Just, Olympics. Yeah. Um, and then I got home and missed out and yeah, had a bit of time to sort of sob and, you know. <laughs> with your wounds. Yeah, yeah with yeah, my yeah. wounds. And then dad was like, all right, boys, you gave that everything you got, but you're 21. Um, <laughs> Good out. Yeah, no, nah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pick yourself up yeah, and yeah. let's go. Yeah. Like, life's not over. Yeah, um, yeah, So he told us to get a job and at that stage we were a bit, um, I guess, I don't know, we'll be bitter towards boxing because we've given it so yeah, much and, yeah. and it let us down. So we weren't we weren't boxing for probably maybe only six months, but yeah, I decided to get a job. Mm. So I started landscaping, <laughs> a landscaping apprenticeship. True, um, honest apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, all right, let's go. I'll just be like one of my mates and pick yeah. up a trade and did some landscaping yeah. and enjoyed it. But um, after about six months, I was like, I'm not done with boxing. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I'd set some new goals and let's yeah. move on. So, and I did them both, but in the end, it was like I was. If I want to be the best I can be at boxing, yeah. I can't be a landscaper yeah. as well. Yeah. Like juggling them both yeah. just wasn't working. Yeah. Physical, physical job, and then yeah. trying to train at the end of that day, yeah. I was exhausted. Mm. So, Melbourne summers, you know, people will think it's a cold place, but Melbourne yeah, summers, summers are like ridiculous. Vicious, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, Working uh, outside yeah. and then going into train. It's yeah, just, <laughs> it wasn't working, so I was like, "All right, again, only got one chance at this. Yeah. Let's um, let's give boxing everything we've got." And yeah, yeah decided to turn professional and yeah. um, stop the landscaping and yeah, give boxing everything I've got. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And what was like your first goal? Like, you know, you mentioned yeah, you had all these sort of goals to tick off. Like, what was your first one as a professional? Yeah. Um, well, when I told my dad that I was going to turn professional, um, he's a very supportive, supportive yeah. father, always encourages to do what we want to do. But like after we missed out on the Olympics, he was sort of like, yeah, you know, you did your best, but it didn't work out. But then he said, look, if you're going to turn professional, uh, it's basically you're going to the top and you win a yeah. world titles, yeah. um, or you're not doing it. Sort yeah, of thing. yeah, so, yeah. And it still is that way. If it ever gets to a point yeah. where Dad thinks you're not going to be yeah. the best in the world, he'd pull me up and say, "Mate, it's time to move time on." Time to move on. So, lucky I'm going all right. <laughs> <laughs> Dad hasn't told me to pull yeah. the pin yet, and yeah. um, I'm about to fight for a world title. So hopefully so we'll excited. get that done, and yeah. then um, Dad uh, Dad will hold on. <laughs> 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 but, um, so yeah, it's always been like since I turned professional. Yeah, it's like all or nothing. I want to mm. be the best in the world, or I won't, won't bother. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can certainly see that by just looking around here. That, like this is really your second home. Yeah, right? it's like you've yeah. got this is set up. So it's yeah. like you can you can virtually spend your whole day here and yeah. and really dedicate yourself. So you can you can see how dedicated you are. To yeah, this fight. yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And you got to be. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, like I said, when we were trying to juggle footy and boxing, it just 
uh, this of boxing or yeah. anything in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything in life. If you're not giving it 100%, yeah. then yeah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, for sure. Are you kind of kidding yourself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Now, what about like a bit of um, personal life? I mean, yeah, you got a missus, you got a yeah. gorgeous little girl, and yeah. Um, yeah, like, you know, when, when did all that sort of happen and how does that? You know, affect your training and how do you juggle that? Because yeah, yeah there's a lot of people at home probably stopping themselves from doing things because they've got families. You know, yeah, or they think that you know they can't achieve great things. So. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I've uh, got an 18 month old girl, Isla. Yeah. Um, so I'm still new to the game. I'm yeah. still learning the, <laughs> the balancing act. Yeah. Of trying to be the best boxer in the world and yeah. trying to be the, the best, best father, dad, yeah. dad I can be. Um, which is hard because it's like a big seesaw. So yeah, yeah. obviously I'll, I give boxing everything. Yeah. And then when I get home, I want to give them mm. the love and the attention yeah. that they deserve. Um, Isla and Georgia, yeah, I'm yeah. referring to my yeah. fiance. Yeah. Um, so I want to give them all the love and attention I yeah. can, but unfortunately it's a pretty tough thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, they I'm so fortunate with what, how supportive Georgia is because yeah. It's, uh, I've got to be very selfish sometimes, and yeah. especially when it comes closer to a fight mm. like I am now, like that balancing act, it's like, mm. it goes, box, yeah. boxing has to go yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, it's business, hey, yeah. I have to give boxing more than I can give to them at yeah. the moment, and yeah. they don't get the best of me, mm. and then it's, like, what I try and do is, after a fight, it goes yeah. the opposite way, yeah, and I, yeah. I have a little bit of a break, or yeah. I'm not as, strict um yeah. i still train all year round yeah. but i make sure that i give them everything i've got as well the and loading then, concentration's not necessarily yeah as full on. exactly yeah, yeah. so i try and give them everything i've got when i'm not fighting and and be the best that i can be but yeah it's certainly not not easy as, yeah. I'm, as i'm fighting now but it's yeah. it's awesome and you know having both of them just gives me extra motivation like that's cool. not just doing yeah. it for, for me now i'm yeah. not just winning a world title for me i'm yeah. trying to set up and look after my family for the future so mm. it's uh yeah it just gives me even more fire in the belly yeah yeah and i guess like um with current situation with covid and, yeah. and whatever you're going to vegas you can't take your family with you obviously that's quite tough yeah for very you, tough but probably very tough puts a bit of uh, fire in the belly to yeah yeah get it done yeah definitely so uh, my last fight was in june and yeah well went over to vegas for i was there for seven weeks and then i had to come home and do a hotel quarantine for two weeks so nine weeks away from your family especially with such a young yeah. girl like george is sending me photos and yeah. videos while i'm away and it's like yeah. she's like from what i what she was like when I left or what she was there. It's like, wow, I've just missed such a big chunk yeah. of her life. She's like developed so much. She's talking even more. She's yeah. running around. Yeah. And uh, it's tough. Like, I'm like, geez, I've just missed so much of her life. And yeah. Then, yeah. But it's, um, I've just got to use that as motivation. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. you know, they're the reason I'm doing this. And yeah. it's all going to be worthwhile yeah. when um, I achieve the dreams that I want to achieve. and. And mm. give them the best life that I can give them. Yeah, that's so awesome. I've got to just remind myself that I'm doing it. That's the grind. For what I'm doing yeah, it yeah. for, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, it's all going to be worth it. But yeah. stuff like, yeah, I was away for nine weeks and now I'm about to leave and I'll be away for another eight weeks. So, yeah. you know, a big chunk of the year that yeah. I've been away from the girls. But yeah. And, and not only that, like being away, but the, the day to day schedule of mm. like your training, do you want to tell us a little bit about like, just just that like monday to friday or what, is it seven days or like pretty well six days yeah like we, we like to have sundays off um and just recharge the batteries yeah um but yeah it's it's full on it's we train twice a day yeah um but it's it is a 24 7 job yeah yeah really yeah um we train in the morning 7 30 and th the boxing sessions can go two to three hours yeah. um so i'll get home at around 10 30 mm -hmm. um and yeah the, the boxing sessions are we train our boxing sessions in the morning because that's when we're fresh yeah so it's yeah, yeah coffee yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh work real hard for two or three hours and then go home have something to eat and then 
we'll have a bit of a rest, um, but then we'll train again at about 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. And that's normally running or yeah. any sort of conditioning. Yeah. Might be yeah. like a bit of a circuit, might yeah. be running, could be some swimming or yeah. something. Yeah. But it's conditioning, just trying to get the body as fit as we can. Yeah. Um, but in between those sessions, like it's like you've got 24 hours mm. to better yourself yeah, yeah, basically yeah, every yeah. day. So. Yeah. Some days I might do a session with got like a breathing coach who helps me do some stuff with, you know, yeah. bettering my bettering my breathing and my yeah. recovery and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Got like a mindset coach who do a bit of work in just making the mind strong. Yeah. Um, might be a massage somewhere yeah. slotted in during yeah. the week, or we might might try and squeeze in some sort of recovery, mm. like an ice bath or, yeah. a, or a, you know sauna or something. Yeah. But yeah, just basically making the most of every day. I want to um sort of go to bed at night thinking yeah. today I've bettered myself yeah. and you know I'm a better athlete or yeah. better fighter yeah. than I was yesterday yeah. and that's what every day is about just trying to get better and better and better and yeah. I'm big on that like never mm-hmm. being satisfied with where yeah. I am yeah. I just want to improve What's as next? much as I can yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a short short career yeah. you know um, um, it'll be over before I know it and I never want to look back and think Give it, should have done yeah, more yeah. or I should have done that should have done that like I want to sit mm. back at the end of my career to see I gave it everything yeah. and I'm proud of what I've achieved so yeah. that's sort of that's the that's the philosophy and um, yeah. hopefully that's what I'll be able to do kick Taking back off. and yeah, yeah. drink yeah. some coffee and, <laughs> and some cookies and I'll like, join you in that man <laughs> <laughs> maybe not the training yeah. but the boxing but I couldn't so. punch my way out of a wet paper <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> it's not for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not, but um, yeah, I love it, and uh, it keeps me going. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Uh, I've been listening to um, a Joe Rogan podcast mm-hmm. he had with um, Mike Tyson, mm-hmm. and it's like it's so funny how his mindset is like. Um, he kind of didn't want to come back to boxing because he knew what an animal it made him, yeah. and like his mindset is like uh, it's game on, yeah. like and it's everything yeah. or, or absolutely nothing, yeah. you know. And he kind of said on, on the podcast that he didn't really like where his head went when yeah. he was in that. Yeah, and um, it was quite funny, and, and it's good. Like, a bit of a um, yeah, it's a funny question to ask you, but Mike Tyson yeah. said the thought of boxing and and what it does. Yeah gives him an erection <laughs> and it's like i was so dumbfounded by that comment like and yeah. even even joe was like uh that's not yeah. normal yeah, but like yeah normal. cool so boxing doesn't really do that for you no. <laughs> i think he's a pretty tapped human though, he is. Isn't he? I've, I've met mike oh have you um and he's got some looking in his eyes he's got he's got some he's got some stories and some yeah demons, he's got eh? some demons yeah but, I think that was the thing with Mike, like you do need that, um, I guess, like he says, it turned him into an animal, like you mm. need to have that other side to you, which yeah. I do, like people meet me and they say, oh, I can't believe you're a boxer, yeah. like, um, I don't know. Softly spoken. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and you're a kind guy and they just yeah, think, like, yeah. Yeah, you're an animal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I think, and boxing's just got this stereotypical image yeah. that you've got to be a thug. But yeah, yeah. Which is something I want to change. Um, mm, that's cool. You know, I want to show people that you don't need to be like that. Yeah. You know, there is clean yeah. living. Yeah. You know, good people that box and. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you gotta have this. You do have to have that split. Yeah. Personality. Yeah. Almost. yeah. But he, I think he would admit that his trouble was he didn't have the on-off switch. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if I'm away from the gym. Yeah. I don't want to beat someone no. up. Like, no, no, no. Yeah. Um, you know, as soon as I step out of the ropes, yeah, I'm a different person. But in the ropes, it's very easy to be the competitive, you know, animal that you need to be. Should I be worried right now? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I just like it's very easy for me. I mean, I'm a very competitive person, and mm. for me, like I've tried other sports and. You know, I've won, you know, yeah. one grand finals in footy or yeah, one, yeah. you know, grand finals in basketball. But it, it, nothing like gave me the thrill or the, the the joy and satisfaction of winning a fight. Like, mm. Winning a fight for me is just it's like, that right. Yeah, there's like, the ultimate competition and the ultimate challenge, and so much goes into it. And then when you win, it's just like the best feeling in the world for me. So I, I can turn into this 
competitive yeah. animal, but away from boxing, it's yeah, yeah. I'm not like yeah, like Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know, getting a tat. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, maybe on that note, talking about Mike, Mike Tyson, and you know the fact that you've met him. Um, I don't know if he would be the person that you look up to in terms of like the boxing, but who's like your your hero? And this is like probably tying into one of the other questions that we ask everyone. Um, you know, dead or alive, who would you love to sit and have a brew with and talk about oh, their story? Their story. Yeah. That's a tough one. Heroes in boxing um, is a tough one. When I first first got into boxing, my idol was Danny Green, like yeah. big time. I like yeah. started boxing, um, and he just grabbed my attention straight away. My yeah. dad loved him. My brother loved him. All these fights we'd watch, yeah. and you know he was in the pool room downstairs. Yeah. We had all these fans yeah. of Danny Green. And yeah, he's been a massive influence on my career. He introduced me to my coach, yeah. my manager. I'll speak to him, you know, once a week. Yeah, or, cool. or so, and just gives me all the advice I need. Like yeah. you know, having someone who's been there and achieved goals that I want to achieve, yeah. he can direct me in the right way and say, yeah. do this, you know be careful here or yeah. this is what you need to work on this is yeah. what you need to do and he's really been a massive yeah. influence on my career and, you know a really great mate of mine now mm. which is awesome yeah but um i've never really had like a a real idol, idol apart from that like a, i just I just want to be the best version of myself yeah. and and be a good role model myself mm. for everyone else to, to sort of try yeah. and look up to but yeah um, my dad's played a massive, massive role yeah. in not on my boxing because he wasn't a boxer, but just the way I, you know, my values and, yeah. and you know, what I stand for. Um, my dad's probably the most influential in my life. Um, but who would I want to sit down for a brew? Yeah, have a brew. That's a tough one. It can be Danny. Like, yeah, well, yeah, I've done that. I've yeah, had a brew yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, geez. What about like, you know, the, you know, Muhammad Ali, he's great. Like, yeah, you know, I don't he's know, a like, great, he's a great, but I don't know, like, he's, he's a real tough one. I don't, That's pretty cliche though, isn't it? Like, he's the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. one of the greatest. Um, but it doesn't even need to be in the boxing world. Yeah, I know, well that's the thing. I just love, love chatting to successful or driven people. Yeah. Like, you know, if it was someone like a Michael Jordan, maybe, or, yeah. you know, I don't know, like, just Roger Federer, like, someone that's been at the top yeah. and stayed at the top for such a long time, I think yeah. that's the hard thing. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that have had success, but how do you keep that hunger mm. and that passion when you've already achieved yeah. your dreams? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'd say Michael Jordan. I don't know. So yeah. I could, I'm not... The world's biggest basketball fan, but yeah. just someone who's he's an incredible been so person. successful, yeah. yeah, and businessman too. Yeah, you know, yes, yeah. his brand is huge. Yeah, yeah. um, yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, Jordan wants to have a coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and um, and probably just to start to tie things up, like uh, you're a big fight coming up. Yeah, you know, tell some tell some people watching what's happening there and. and yeah. Yeah, get them excited to, to tune in and watch it. Yeah, for sure. So I'm fighting October 31 in Las Vegas yeah. against the Japanese Nao Anui, who is um, the number one bantamweight in the world and probably the top three pound for pound fighters in the world right now. Um, he, for those who don't know, there's basically four belts in every weight division in yeah. boxing. He holds three of them in my yeah, in my wow. weight division, so yeah. he's a superstar yeah. in the world of boxing, and I've got the biggest opportunity that I'll ever get, yeah. uh, the opportunity of a lifetime, to beat him and cement myself as mm. one of the best boxers yeah. Australia's ever had. And if I beat him, uh, it'll probably be the biggest win that any Aussies ever have in yeah. our history. Um, so it's the you know, this is yeah. the pinnacle. This is um, yeah. everything I've worked for and everything I've sacrificed 
uh, over the last 17 years is to get to this point and yeah in less than six weeks I'll have the opportunity to achieve all yeah. my dreams and yeah Maybe. and knock off um, someone that most people think is unbeatable and invincible but I just believe in myself and yeah. I'm, I'm going into the fight giving myself every every chance to win the fight and I believe I can do it and hopefully we'll shock the world and, and come home with three belts around my waist which would be yeah. unbelievable that's awesome man and we believe in you too so yeah <laughs> yeah we'll be back in you 100% yeah. for sure yeah, and sure. um and obviously to get some support from back home while you're overseas um you know where can people find you on Instagram or yeah yeah, yeah I'm on Instagram and Facebook just Jason Maloney yeah um Maloney. oh it's not James <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jason Maloney. Yeah, yeah. Twitter, if anyone uses Twitter, Jason Maloney one. Yeah, yeah. Um, got a website, teammaloney.com. But um, yeah, mate, appreciate everyone's support. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully everyone will get behind me. Yeah. On. Can people tune in online or like into the um, fight? We're hoping it's going to be shown on Fox Sports. Yeah, just waiting to hear from that and KO Sports here in Australia. So yeah, um, yeah hopefully everyone will be able to tune in and, yeah. and watch me live which will be November 1 here in okay. Australia. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, jump on board. Just cheer me on. And yeah, I'll, yeah. Help me bring home the belt. It's awesome, mate. Thanks so much for catching up with us. Like, it's Please. such an important time in your schedule as well. Like, we really appreciate it. And yeah. um, we wish you all the best. And Cheers, we'll be behind you. Sure. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Good work, mate. Good on you. <laughs>